Hi, my name's Anne um, and this is my channel Summer Room Sewing. Um, thank you for joining me today. Welcome back if you're um, a subscriber and hello to any new um, viewers. So I've got loads to get through today. Uh, yeah, so um, let's get started because um, I won't get through it otherwise. Um, hopefully I'm going to get through without um, lawn mowers, drills and all sorts going on because it's the bank holiday weekend that people are outside because it's beautiful outside. So to start with, I've, um, the most exciting news I've got, and I've been holding on to this for ages, is the final release of the Bex Hill pattern by Sussex Seamstress. Um, so I will just get the details for you. So this is right this is it the line drawing and as you can see it's a pair of shorts which i'm ever so excited about so basically i was asked to um pattern test this um these shorts because um as i say the pattern's called the bex hill and i live in a town called bex hill so it's named after obviously where i live so um yeah i was really um really excited about it um and um, it's, um, yeah, I wasn't actually sure what to expect because I'm a bit funny with them, um, with my legs because they're a bit chunky, my hips, etc. So I was sort of really excited but a bit apprehensive because I've had loads of shorts over the years and um, yeah, I'm not, my legs and hips aren't my favourite part of my body, just being honest there. Anyway, so the pattern came and I was just like, yeah over the moon honestly because it just looked so much different to shorts that i normally wear because normally i'm an elasticated waist type um especially you know just lounging around etc so anyway i will show you because i'm actually wearing them now so hold on a moment so if you can see um clearly uh, there are I will um, insert a picture if I am, um, if I can. Um, as you can see, it's got a really, it, they're really, really flattering. It's got a wide yoke here, side pockets, invisible zip. Um, one thing I will say, although I absolutely adore these, um the pattern and it's really um there um it's really something that i've wanted for a very long time and as i say i yeah i just never thought i'd be able to find shorts that i really like that i'd be happy to wear out and confident with um oh i forgot to mention sorry pockets at the back sorry <laughs> two pockets at the back right back to this um yeah, so basically I didn't think I'd ever find shorts that I really, really loved, that I could go out in, etc. But these absolutely do tick the box. Um, so they are they are really flattering. Um, and um the only the only thing, and you'll see this from watching me, is the fact that um I'm you know, I'll be the first to admit that I'm not very good at getting my sizing right. So um, Jane actually, Jane from the Sussex Seamstress, she actually helped me. I gave her my measurements and she gave me um, what she thought would work because one of my issues is the fact that I'm a little bit um, chubby around the, the stomach area. So I wanted, um, you know, menopausal stomach. I wanted um, enough room there. So she gave me what she thought would work. So yeah, the, the waist is perfect and actually, the hips um, just around the hip area from the waist down to the hips just needs to to be a little bit maybe a centimeter um, she's given me some new measurements to try so I'm gonna have another go I mean these shorts are absolutely perfect I've worn them loads um, I haven't been able to wear them um, I wanted to wear them to my sewing group but I couldn't and somebody asked me as I was doing a pattern test and she said, oh, tell me what it is. I said, I can't. And she was a little bit, um, 
yeah, I think people want want to know things. And when you say, I really can't, they don't really get it. But, you know, so I have been good as gold and kept it to myself. Um, anyway, so, yeah, this pattern works really well. Um, it fits, but obviously I'm going for the optimum. So I will have another go. I want to get some um, blue denim and I'll have another go. Um, and honestly, I think when, you know, these are going to be shorts that I'm going to wear to death. Because they're, for me, with them having pain issues, they're not, they haven't got that waistband that pulls in that makes everything really uncomfortable because of the wide yoke. It's, it's just ever so comfortable. And you've got the, um, the shorts are quite, um, not massively flared, but just flare out a bit. So there's loads of room and, you, you know, you can sit comfortably. And for somebody with a disability as well, you're looking for maybe a little a few extras that you don't get from fitted clothes and if i have the only really um trousers i wear are jeans and i always have um stretch denim just to give me that extra bit of ease so um but these feel ever so comfortable and i could absolutely wear them all day um so as far as i'm concerned it's um yeah it's a huge hit 10 out of 10 i absolutely adore them and i literally can't wait to make my second pair so the important things to know are the fact that um the pattern is now ready for pre-order from today so you can go to the sussex seamstress website and i'll link that below um also you can actually buy the pattern if you don't want to pre-order and that will be available from the 8th of um, June. And say so the things that I like about the Sussex Seamstress patterns, apart from the, the style, is the fact that every single pattern comes with a video tutorial. Though, if you're a bit like me and you want um, a little bit of um, a guide through, everything's on YouTube. So that's an extra bonus as far as I'm concerned. The, um, the line drawings, the instructions are absolutely perfect so you know but you've got the you've got both options if you want which i think is great it just opens up the pattern to so many more people as far as i'm concerned right um sizing wise um it's a waist of 25 and a quarter to 47 and a quarter that's approximate because her measurements are in centimeters and the hips are 35 and a half to 50 um, five and a quarter I made a size 16 um, and then I taper down to a 12 so um, yeah because of say the, the stomach area um, but yeah so that's my my first the top that I'm wearing it's just one of my new look um, t-shirts so that is, um, I'm going to be talking about that in another pattern in a minute. It's, I um, should know this off by heart by now, shouldn't I? Where are you? Um, oh, it's the new look K6730. So I just thought I'd wear a white, well, it's a creamy top. Um, I just thought I'd wear this because I think it just goes, I'll just give you one, one last little peek. So, yeah, that's that's the short. So it looks a little bit like a skirt, doesn't it? It just flares out just enough that it just really does look. Yeah. So, yeah, made up 100% love it. So that's my first. I'll go and change now and get to my second outfit that I've made. So the um, the second thing that I've made is the um, Tilling the Buttons Mayette skirt. Um, I've actually made um, several before. Um, this is the pattern. It's um, an A-line wrap around the skirt and the wrap wraps around the back. So it's a really generous wrap, um, which is good. Um, right, let me find the details. I've written everything down because I've got so much this week. So where's the Moyet? Right, I made a size six. It comes in sizes one to eight. Hit measurement i'm choosing this time it's a 33 inch to a 47 inch and i used um a minerva core range 15 was it whale while um stretch woven cord 
um, it's like a polyester with 15% stretch. Um, sadly, I talked about this the last vlog, the Mayat is no longer in print and it's also not on their website as a PDF either, which I think is a shame. I'm hoping they may bring it back with the extended sizes, but I don't know. I've, but anyway, I will show you my, my Mayat skirt. So get that quite away. Um, and as I say, the wrap, it's quite generous. It really does wrap. Um, there we go. And I've, I've never made it with the pockets before. So the pockets, they're like, kang I suppose you call them kangaroo pockets. Really handy because I've been putting my phone in and all sorts. Um, I've actually, um, trying to get in the right position here. I, I finished this in the week and I've literally worn it every single day because it's just, um, it's so comfortable. It doesn't crease whatsoever. And because I lie down a lot um, because of my pain levels, I can without actually having to keep changing because it doesn't crease and it's really comfortable. So um, I absolutely love it. And it's something that I will just wear to death. And I'm sort of going to eye up another colourway because it comes in some like 20 different colours or something. Um, and, you know, people that sort of been following me for a while know that I'm quite into colour. And this is quite sombre for me. But I also really love, um, yeah, just having a, a day where I'm a little bit more classical, I suppose, rather than very vibrant. So, yeah, my my skirt's finished. So that's number two. I shall go and change now and get the next one. So um, now I'm wearing my next outfit. Now, this is fabric you'd have seen before if you're one of my followers. And it's called Lithograph Leaves. And it's a Minerva exclusive viscose jersey. Now, I made this in a quick sew um, cowl neck long sleeve top um, a month or two ago. And I love the top. So what I've done now, I, I, um, I've got some more fabric and I'll show you. So it's a faux dress, you can see that. It's a little bit long, so hopefully you can. So yeah, this is the same, um, this is the same t-shirt as the white one I had on just now. And that comes in different options. It comes in a V-neck, a like a boot neck, and then there's a couple of skirt options. But um, I like it because it's a raglan sleeve and it's really comfortable for my like shoulders and neck area. Um, the skirt, I made this before in another, another Minerva um, fabric. So it's new look K6730 and this is option B and I made the large. Now, I don't have the details for the top because I've lost the pattern somewhere and I can't find it, but the skirt, I made the large, um, and it's a really simple skirt. It's an A-line, two pieces. You fold over the top section, um, make a channel, insert elastic, and then you just turn up the bottom. And it's like a great, I would think it was a great skirt to take on holiday. Um, and I'll, I'm gonna be wearing this to death now because it's just very me. It's very floaty and comfortable for this, like, you know, nicer weather. So that's that part. So I'm just going to now go and change and put the um, the next part of the um, outfit on. Right. So I'm now back and I've changed. Um, hold on a moment. I'll stand up. Right. So now I'm wearing shorts with it so sort of a bit of a faux jumpsuit right so I was um lucky enough to be gifted three and a half meters of this fabric um as part of my Minerva ambassador program so I was initially going to be making the Tilly and the Buttons lot address well as a possibility um but actually I decided that you know, I wouldn't wear it enough, I don't think. And I really want more things in my wardrobe that I want to wear all the time, not just like once a year or something. So um, I think you can see my washing outside. Sorry about that. But anyway, 
real life and all that. Um, so anyway, we, um, I just, the important thing was I wanted to get um, the A-line skirt and also the top. So I cut those out and they're patterns I've made before the top. I can't tell you how many times. And then I had enough over to make the shorts, which I was like over the moon about. So, um, right, the, the top pattern, I can show you that. Sorry, no, it isn't the top pattern at all. It's the skirt pattern, sorry. So it's the, I've shown this plenty of times before, the A-line skirt. Um, I was looking at the top, but I've mentioned before, it's, um, there's a zip at the back. And honestly, I can't see the point in spending time adding zips and it's not really conducive to, to what I want to do. So yeah, the Make It Simple book, Tilly and the Buttons, my like Bible really. Um, I made the Sophia, this is the Sophia pattern, which is a wonderful pattern. So you can make it in stretch or woven. I've made it in every possible length combination you can imagine. And this is obviously um, it's stretch. So yeah, the, um, the Sophia is my favorite stretch pattern. So yes, I've got basically um, several outfits that I can wear together, mix and match. So that's that's that. And what I'd now like to do is to actually get some plain jersey. So you know, I quite like to get the um, the nice like raw blue, and obviously this purple there, and there's a, like an aqua. So um, I'd like to get some different colours, and then just um, so I can just wear, you know. Um, the shorts and a plain t-shirt, the skirt and a plain t-shirt. Um, and then obviously I can wear the top and, you know, shorts or whatever. So I want to, I want to make the outfit or the three pieces as versatile as possible. Um, I've also got a little bit of this fabric left, but it's only a tiny amount. So I'm going to try and work out if I can incorporate it with a bit of um, patchworking into another top with some black fabric but that's on on the hold for now so yeah I'm like made up with this the next pattern or garment I was hoping I was going to show you me wearing it but I haven't actually finished it yet um so I will have to dig it out and show you the mannequin so hold on a moment right the fabric I've um made a a top before a Sussex seamstress top before, which I can't remember the name of. Um, isn't that silly? I will insert it anyway. Um, so this fabric is called Sang Sang K, -K Spirit, S A N K A double K E I, and it's a viscose chalet. It's one of their exclusive range. So I was going to be making the Tasuki patterns Raj dress but I just taught myself how to fit. Um, and like I said before, I'm looking at making things that I'm going to wear all the time. And I just didn't feel that I would wear the Raj dress a lot at this time of the year, maybe um, later on. So I'll still make it, but I'm just not making it now. So what I have made, this is a pattern I've wanted to make since um, it, my copy came free with a magazine, but it, you can obviously buy a copy. It's the Penny Dress by Sew Over It. Now, this is very me. Um, it just sort of, yeah, it's just my style totally. So I wanted to make this before. And for I think it's because it, it put me off because I didn't have the, the skills for it at the time. So I just thought, you know something, make it. Because I just like the um like the grown on little cap sleeves. It's you know elasticated waist, a line sort of skirt which suits my sort of hips. So, um, I'm at the stage with it. I don't know if you can see it properly. I can't really turn it back any further. I don't know if it's it's anyway. It's just um. I've, I've lengthened it a bit because um, this one's just literally on the knees, I think. And yeah, it, that's never going to happen in my world. So um, I've had a bit of an issue with it. 
in that the um I watched um a sew along which was filmed during lockdown and it was really confusing because they kept changing the um um the measure the seam allowances so I'm following they always um when you get a pattern on you know in a magazine they all squash it onto a couple of sheets as opposed to having it really nicely laid out over like bigger sheets um but there's a section um which i will show you it's got lots of clips that's quite jangling there's um, a section at the top here i'll have to move that down there's a section on the shoulder here where you've got difficult to see with fabric like this but you've got um like a strip across here um so it's the seam out says it was a centimeter so you know i am um, i was following the sew along did exactly what they said and then tried to attach the uh, the collar and what have you and it just didn't fit I can't remember which bit I had to um, attach first. But anyway, it just didn't fit. So I literally, I, you know, you hem the, the cap sleeves, um, hem the side bodice, and it just didn't fit. And I was like, what on earth have I done? So I went over it and it just, you know, so what I did is I took it all apart and then I um, stitched a one and a half centimetre seam allowance and that was absolutely fine. And I, um, but yeah, I can't actually remember what I did, what the issue was. Um, I think it was just, I think it was just the collar I put on at that stage and it just didn't fit. And I was like, well, there's not a lot you can, you know, I can cock up really here. So yeah, corrected that collar fitted fine. And then the, um, the facing wouldn't fit just round the shoulders. So I then, um, I think I, I cut it and took some away, but then I realised that the se the section which just gives the um, the little um, where is it? Just the little corner section here. Um, I hadn't turned over the right section, so what I cut out was actually wrong. So then I had to sort of draft some a bit more facing to correct it. And honestly, anyway. It's it sort of doesn't quite fit as well as it should. But I'd got to the stage that I just, you know, I'm not not doing anything more. I think I got myself in a right flat because it was a disaster and I was just fed up with it. Um, anyway, I've tweaked it about and it lies OK now, thankfully. So all that I've got to do is it's the elastics in. I've just... Um, as I say, I've turned the hem up and I've just put the um, like cl wonder clips on. So I've got some buttons. I've got three or four. I think well, depending on how many I feel, I've got to add the buttons and I'm finished. So I've tried it on and it looks really nice. I just wish it. I wish it had been finished to show you. But anyway, I will hopefully get that one ready for um for the next vlog. So yeah, I'm absolutely made up with this. And I think I'll, um, I can just see another one coming on really quickly. It's just such a nice dress. And now I know where I went wrong. Um, yeah, it will be, um, it'll be lovely to have another go. So that's that work in progress. My next work in progress, um, I haven't got very far with it, but I've started. I was determined to get one of these um, Galaxy Tees made up. Um, thinking that it might go with, um, you know, this outfit. So anyway, I want to decide whether it's going to work or not. So that's the pattern. Free pattern, which is wonderful. Um, just, um, yeah, normal T-shirt. It's just got obviously um, big sleeves. So I haven't done a lot so far. I've just chosen the fabric and I've cut it out. So I've had this fabric in my stash for probably a couple of years nearly. Um, so it's just a really nice like, fabric. 
earthy colours which I thought would go with the skirt quite well um, and then I thought I would just uh, just do the neckline in a just a cream which I think would go well well if it doesn't I'll just cut it out in the other fabric but I thought that would be a nice contrast and I'm doing the sleeve um, a bit round here in, in the cream too um, the little bit that I've looked through so far, because I've I've started, I've um, there's some fusible interface that you put around, the, you know, the shoulders. Um, and the nice thing about this pattern so far is it gets you to do some prep. So you do the, the neck bands, the um, the sleeve band first, and then you gather the sleeves in. So you do all the sort of what I call the boring stuff first, and then when you've done all of that so um you're literally ready to get stuck in so i really like that idea um the only thing is i took this to my sewing group and cut it out and then i thought oh great got everything with me no cream thread so i couldn't go any further but anyway so that's work in progress which i'm ever so chuffed about i've got a picked up a couple of patterns um just in um yeah i got one on ebay which is this one um you can see the style can't see without looking so that's a bit hopefully that's obvious it's the butterick b5488 i got that off ebay it was obviously from a sewing magazine but i'm sure you can buy it anyway the reason i bought this is because i have a nighty in this sort of style that my mum made me a very very long time ago which I only ever wear when it's absolutely ridiculously hot so anyway I thought I would make it up because it just I really appealed so I bought that and then yesterday we were going around some charity shop um, and then I bought this t-shirt pattern which I like t-shirt and dress pattern only a pound which was a bit of a bargain um, and I just like the um, they just look like the sides they're just gathered so i really like um i'm hoping that i can actually do a slightly longer sleeve but yeah that's just uh, another little t-shirt to try so i thought that was fun sarah at rosie sews she was having a d stash so i picked up a couple of um pieces so there's a blue this is really nice you can see that it's a um a blue minerva core range prestige polyester crepe in yale blue and i've got a meter and a half of that i was thinking about making the shorts but again the fabric may not be like heavy enough because it does call for a heavier fabric but anyway i might give that a go otherwise i might make some sophia shorts so um the second one I've got, it's a pink, no, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Buchle, B-O-U-C-L-E, Bouche. Anyway, it's two and a half metres and I will show you. It's like a sparkly, a little bit sparkly, is it a little bit sparkly? Anyway, it's like a textured fabric. I don't know anything about um, the type of fabric. Um, if anybody knows anything about it, then I'd be interested. I bought it specifically to make a jacket. Now I can't find the pattern, so heaven knows where it is, but I was thinking of making the rye jacket as a twirl because um, I think that would just work. Um, that's my plans for that at the moment. I've actually also ordered something from Felicity Fabrics again, another one of their surprise boxes because it was so good last time, but that's not arrived yet because I've only just ordered it. So that is, that's my fabric. A couple of pieces. I got, actually, I got them a couple of weeks ago, I think. But anyway, that's um, that's where I am with um, with that. So um, plans for the week ahead. Obviously, are finishing the penny dress. 
um, hopefully that will be done pretty quickly now and I'm really excited I'm desperate to wear it secondly it's making up the galaxy T. the overlock is all set up so I'm hoping that's not going to be too much of a make and um, I've been brave for once I've actually sized down to what I think I should be so um, I've put it against um, t-shirts that I've got and it looks a little bit baggy but anyway I can take the size in so that's the second thing and then I'm going my um my third make is I'm going to um make Keith's shorts um if you were anyone's um watched my previous vlogs a while back I made him I copied um some ready to wear shorts and I um I've made one pair and he's wearing those a lot but I just want to make them as a small amount larger and then extend them by quite a few inches so that is something I really want to get made up. So those are my three things for now before I um, get on to my next um, set of Minerva makes because I've got three lots of fabric that came last week. So I've got um, yeah plans for those, although they, you know me, I'll probably change them. But at the moment, that's on hold until I just get these few makes finished and the shorts I'm yeah now that the weather's warmed up I really want to get Keith's shorts made so that's my plans for the next week or two ahead so I'm following on from last week and talking about vloggers that inspire me a couple more that I'll just um, quickly insert for this week is um, Tamlin at Sewn on the Time and also um, Helen at Stitch Rip Repeat they're both um vloggers that I've watched for the last couple of years and um, yeah they're wor well worth um, a look if you're if you want to um, discover somebody new and you're not um, following them already. Yeah so this is the end of the vlog um, it's been a really fun couple of weeks um, lots of sewing as you can see it's wonderful now to be able to talk about the Bexhill shorts and I can actually wear them out now and talk about them so that's that's great um thank you ever so much for watching i very much appreciate it i hope you got something out of it um if you've got any comments then that would be lovely to um hear from you i always love receiving comments from people uh if you um haven't subscribed to my vlogs i would dearly love that um and i hope you have a good week the um the weather's absolutely beautiful so i hope you're able to get out there and, and enjoy this beautiful weather okay I'll see you next time. Bye.